all new special pie three into one shot timer. Well, it's new to me anyway, for on the range firearm use, airsoft and a regular stopwatch. Review coming soon.
like I said, I was going to give you guys a review on this thing. I'm not going to get into a real in-depth review um, about the unboxing and all of that. But um, it does come with a manual and a charger cord that you can hook right into the bottom of this thing. And when it's charging, um, you'll have a red light that'll come on. And once it is fully charged, it will turn blue. And on the back here, you have a little uh, clip that you can attach to your um, your plate carrier vest or a duty belt while you are running and gunning. And um, it also has a little, uh, let's see if I can pull this thing out. Here we go, it has like a little hook that you can hook it up onto some sort of an attachment or something like that. Uh, maybe if you're doing some type of stagnant shooting and um, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, as far as the um, external visuals of this thing. Um, I got it because it looked different. It looks like a shot timer in here on the bottom, it'll tell you that you can use this thing for, um, for also airsoft. You can use it as a regular stopwatch. You can use it for a three gun competition, IDPA, um, and so on and so forth. So there you go. When you turn this thing on, just hold it down with the red button to light up. It has a nice little LED light and a green light on the opposite side. And there you have, um, I have my set on custom. Uh, you got custom, you got your split time, you got your battery life mode, and then you have your uh, shot count, and then start and pause. All right, so let's toggle through the menu a little bit. All right, we're gonna hit this, uh, this right side button, okay. All right, you have delay, you got par, mode and system so let's go to delay i'm gonna hold that down you got instant random fixed and customized let's go to customized hold it down and i have my delay for my shot timer set on uh two seconds here but it will go all the way up to 10 seconds so two seconds is uh proficient enough for me um just for video purposes Let's go to three, okay? Now in order to save it, hit the left button, go back out to customize, and I uh, hold it down to save it, okay? And it has a little asterisk beside it. Go all the way back out. Okay, now you see where originally I showed you um, where it said uh, custom two seconds, now it's three seconds. Okay, I think I'm actually leave it there to kind of give me a little extra time to, um, uh, collect myself before I start shooting. Okay, let me hold down. Let's go to par mode. Okay, you can set your time on par mode. And again, for the people who are uh, used to these shot timers, you already know what that's for. In cycle. Okay, let's go to cycle. So you go to cycle. Uh, you can put this thing all the way to uh, 10 cycles. So you can set that beep or that tone to go off 10 times. So let's say you are um, drawing out from a uh, concealment or using a exposed um, holster and uh, you want it to consistently beep and, uh, you know, go through um, different, you know, a, a different number of cycles so that you can um, get that practice in and you don't have to hit the buzzer every single time for the uh, time or so. Um, yeah, let's go back out. All right, so we got it set on custom and three seconds. So let's test that out. All right, there you go. And in order to stop it, hit the red button, and then it'll go back to the uh, S right over here in the lower left-hand corner where it has start. And if you want to start the process again, you just hit the green button. All right. So let's go back to uh, par mode here. All right, again, you can set the time 
that you want the buzzer to go off. Okay, let's go to cycle. So let's just say, um, I'm gonna leave it on two cycles, right? And uh, if you wanna save that, um, let me see, go back out. Let me see, go back out one more time. Okay, all right, yeah. So go all the way back out to the part mode and then you just hold down the um, green button for about two seconds. And as you can see, it'll put a little asterisk right there on the side where it'll save it, okay? So let's go all the way back out and you'll see right here in the corner where it says par. So let's test that out. You should get uh, a beep, a stop, another beep, and then stop. So it's the green button. stop it okay now that was actually set on uh three seconds so it was a three second uh um time frame that you have to wait until the next uh beat okay so in order to take it off par mode and you just go down to par mode hit the green button hold it down and it will take the asterisk off okay so in regular mode we're going to leave it on fire we're not using it for airsoft or anything like that okay and you have filter that you can go from um, 1 ms all the way to uh, 10 ms and you can set the sensitivity the sensitivity goes all the way up to 8 I currently have it set on five right now. I haven't tested this thing out shooting steel targets um, to make sure it doesn't pick that sound up, but uh, that's why I have it set it right now. It seems to be working just fine um, to pick up my shots. So uh, you have stopwatch and let me see, countdown. Okay. Yeah. So again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through every single uh, option on here, but just pretty much some of the main ones, the main uh, ones that you'll be using. So um, let me see, system. You got language. I think it's uh, Chinese. Yeah, Chinese and English. Okay, and you got eco mode, which is like a battery saving um, time where you can go in and I think it was originally set on uh, 15 minutes. Not really sure what the normal is, but uh, in customization, it was originally set on 15 minutes. So I just put it on 10 minutes and I exited, I think all the way out to this portion and hit the green button for several seconds and it saved it. Um, RFID is when you're using it for um, airsoft. Now I know some of these special pie shot timers have like another um, plug-in um, area here where you can utilize that um, but this is probably the only thing I use it for, to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, yeah, with that being said, um, yeah, there you have it. I'll cut this thing off, hold down the red button, boom, there you have it.